Well, if you've ever been stung by a bee, you probably don't want to approach a hive again. I was thinking that too, unless <laughs> you listen to this. Researchers have learned that bee venom can kill breast cancer cells. So how close is it to becoming a treatment? Medical reporter Meg Ferris explains. Mess with a bee's hive and you risk a painful sting caused when they inject venom filled with a small piece of protein called melatonin. And what it does, it, it pokes holes in cell membranes. It does that in, in nerve endings uh, that transmit pain. So it actually, it's pretty excruciating. They're just defending their home, families and food supply. But now headlines like this from Australia. Honeybee venom kills breast cancer cells in minutes. So we turn to Dr. Lucho Mila, head of genetics at LSU Health, with decades of breast cancer research. And he says the bee venom killed breast cancer cells not only in the lab. They even gave it to some mice that were bearing breast cancer cells and showed that it does kill these tumors in, in, in the mice. But he says it's not ready for patients yet. The issue, targeting only the bad cancer cells. The, the issue with these substances is that uh, they have to be given IV and they're quite toxic. Imagine having a bee sting all over your body. What's new is the Australian researchers did genetically alter the bee venom to target cancer cells. But Dr. Mila says that process still needs to get better. This particular substance isn't ready for clinical prime time. Uh, we're going to need to do quite a few more animal studies. The good news, doctors already have treatments to deliver cancer medicine directly to a tumor. And Dr. Mila's lab is working on engineered viruses to carry medicine that targets and kills cancer cells. But today, this latest bee venom study moves us one step closer. Is this a breakthrough? Uh, no, uh, uh, it, it is a step forward in, in a long, long process that actually started about 30 years ago. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, Medical Watch. All right, doctors say there are many types and subtypes of breast cancer, so studies now need to be geared toward learning which types the medicine can effectively treat.